You know, last night we had a conversation about choosing to live your life with significance. Last night I, I threw out there an idea that this summer would be that one summer that changes your life. It's that one summer that you will look back on and say, that is the summer when I made a decision to do things differently in my life. I want to challenge you that you do choose to live with significance. Last night we talked about three key aspects of living with significance. The first one was living for God. Live for God. Live out everything you have for Him. Give your life to Him. Choose to live with significance and then chase after Him. The second one was to live unselfishly. Don't live with those selfish desires. Live with a desire to serve other people, to love other people, to help other people. And lastly, it was to what not complain and what argue. Choose to not complain about the circumstances in your life, but rather be excited about where you are in life. And not to argue. Sometimes life throws things at you that you cannot change. We have to deal with them for what they are. Choose to live with significance. Last night, that's what we talked about. We followed that up with, with just giving your life to Christ. Maybe that is the significant choice that you have to make this summer to make this summer unlike any other summer you've ever had and you ever will have. Maybe you've got to give your life to Christ. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's to finally say, I don't want to be selfish anymore, and I want to live my life serving other people and helping other people. Maybe you're the one who just complains about everything in life. Maybe you need to make a change in your life to not live complaining and arguing about where life is, but rather embracing it and being okay with it because that is where God has put you. Well, I challenge you that you choose to live with significance. I challenge that you choose to chase after God. <clears throat> Give your life to God. Stop being afraid of that. God will never fail you. He will never abandon you. And right now, He is waiting for that relationship with you. He has already given you an opportunity to have a relationship. He is now just waiting for you to respond with that relationship. God bless you. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Can't wait to see you next Wednesday. Peace out. Don't forget, make a choice to live your life with significance.